welcome back. Yes, it is the last segment and another interview I'm having here. But this time around, we're going to be discussing digital marketing, looking at it as a platform to project artists. And having here two guests uh, on my extreme right, I have in black and white, all black and white, Vasco, the blogger. Vasco, you're welcome. Thank you. Mm. What was the mood for the morning? What's the black and white? We all know already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, I think I'm getting you. Right then. Then I also have Frank Harrison. Frank, good morning, and how are you doing? Good morning, I'm doing great. Okay. okay. All right, all right. And you are digital marketers? Yes, please. Okay. So, as a digital marketer, I mean, jumping straight to the question because of our time. What is digital marketing? First of all, we know when we say marketing, eh, market, but now you've brought it to digital. You've digitalized it, maybe with a VIP. What is digital marketing? Okay. Basically, when we're talking about digital marketing, mm -hmm. it's, it's a component of marketing, mm. right, which um, uses the internet. Okay. So we also have the internet users, mm -hmm. sample like yourself, Mm. using your mobile phone and some using their desktop and their laptops okay. to be able to access information on the internet. So basically when you are talking about digital marketing, sometimes okay. people mention like uh, online marketing or something. Mm -hmm. So it's basically about the promotion using channels. What are the channels we are talking about? We are talking about the mediums you'll be able to reach out to people mm. at their homes, wherever they are using the internet okay so Vasco for you as, as well then this would mean that um, it's not the normal way it's not the traditional way no. so what would set or what would bring about the differences um, between digital marketing and then the traditional so, traditional tool is part of marketing okay yes but when we are talking as pure digital marketing mm -hmm. we use internet mm -hmm. not about the radio and TV okay so that's the difference. Okay. Okay. So that means that digital includes the radio, the TV, that like what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's part. It's okay. part of it. Okay. All right. Um. Let's let's look at um content when it comes to digital marketing because um like the traditional marketing, I'm sitting at my son. Maybe I have a shop or a store. I've opened it. Uh, put a nice label on top there. Maybe the name of my shop, and I'm saying, um, what am I selling? Maybe uh, shoes and I have shoes displayed. People pass by, they see the shoes. Uh, maybe one or two shoes there, they come, it calls them, it brings them in, in, and I get to interact with them. It's not so with digital marketing. So let's talk about the content when it comes to digital marketing. How do you, you open your store for people on the online or digital space? Okay, for you, you, you are talking about product. Are we going to mail? Yes, sir. okay, let's talk about product. Mm -hmm. Basically, you see how people are passing now. When you have online shop mm -hmm. and you set a digital marketing, first of all, you must look at what we call SEO mm -hmm. and keywords phrase for the content. Okay, um, you are the, the company or the product you are um, well, delivering to the people. So, yeah, so when you are here. And maybe you are looking for where to um, uh, barber your hair right now. Mm -hmm. If it is a, if we have a, a barber shop around that have a good marketing projection mm -hmm. of SEO, we have channels. What are some of the channels? We have Google. We have um, go the the Google search engine. We have the okay. um, the social media, the Facebook, Instagram, and co. Mm. So someone could maybe use uh, Google to search that. Any barber shop near me. If you do that right now, you can see those who are have ranked their their mm. barber shop right now, and you will be able to locate. Okay. Now, so it helps people to be able to locate where you are easily. Mm. You wouldn't have um, a limited uh, uh, people you deliver your content. You have okay. a wider okay. range. Okay. That is mm. why in the in the digital marketing we have mm. channels to use. What are the channels that people visit the most? People visit their Instagram. Some go to Google to make searches. Mm. 
mm. about things. When you are you are finding difficult about difficulties about something, you go to Google, you try to do search about. Then if you you phrase your keywords in and rank your okay. um your product, you could be able to be featured into. Let's say you are selling um a health product, mm -hmm. um how to cure headache. That's a keyword there. How to cure headache. Okay. Maybe then you are about to talk about your your medicine. Mm. So anytime someone try to that search engine try to work on something, oh my head is aching me. Mm -hmm. Any um, medicine for that, the search engine will bring it out. Okay. So those things are help by done by the digital marketers. By the okay. help of the digital marketers, those things are being done, and so basically that is. You, you um, wanted to add something. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's 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 true. He said a lot. I quite remember. Um, I wanted to buy a suit mm -hmm. at John Roo, but the customer I went there, he have closed the shop. So I was in the car, I was frustrated. <laughs> Within short time, I take my phone and then I go to online. I check which suit around the area. Okay. Yes. Within some possible time, I just locate a shop and then... You quickly... Quickly bought it. All right. So, so talk one minute. Mm. Uh, so in this era, if mm. you are a company or any uh, brand that you ignore the digital projection of content, then, hey, forget about it. You're about okay. to fade out from the system. Okay. So I like the way you said um, they make use of certain keywords. So like suit, it means immediately I type in perhaps I need a suit or shoes, I need shoes. Does that mean that somebody who wants to go to, to bring their business from the traditional onto um, the digital um, in trying to market, they have to search for particular keywords to use or key phrases to use? Must they be particular about yeah. keywords? Keywords play a very major role. Okay. Because someone may not be able to search exactly maybe the suit. Mm -hmm. So when you are setting an SEO for someone, you're fixing what we call backlink to support. And mm. fixing the backlink, you work on the SEO. Mm. So when you're working on the SEO, the keywords are infused. So when someone even search something, you see, it works on location. Okay. When you, you I'm in Accra and I want to project within Accra, anyone who searches, um, okay, let's say TV station around me, mm -hmm. and I project the SEO that everyone in Accra should see Adora TV. Okay. That is what they will see. Mm. Okay. The okay. other stations may come, but that will be the first station you will see. You see. Okay. 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 So, with what you're saying then, the idea I'm getting is that, um, so I, my, in my, with my shoe shop, I've heard there is digital um, or online stores now, and I don't want to, because now I'm hearing that if, if I don't do online, I may be limiting myself, limiting my business. So, does that mean I can just take my phone, go to any of the social media platforms, and then just write, um, I deal in this, this, maybe take one or two pictures. Or do I necessarily have to go look for a digital marketer? You, you can do basic marketing. Mm. That is creating your, your channels. Okay. But to reach a wider range of people, mm. you need a marketer yeah. okay. to assist you on that. Because right. that is not your fault. Yours is too. Sir. Okay. So, okay. You, yeah, so that's why every company that can move faster have a very tight and technical digital marketer. Okay. Including even artists. Mm. If you forget to work with a, a technical um, digital marketer, then mm -hmm. forget it. Because the strategies, they know how to project. Okay. It's not your business. If you try to add it, a headache. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, um, coming back to this, now we are looking at how uh, our artists um, will be able to use digital marketing. So looking at what we just said or the illustrations we just created with the shoes or with the suit, it means that an artist who wants to not just be a normal artist um, cannot just sit in his corner somewhere and then say I'm an artist, I, I prepare song and I'm waiting for somebody to come in and just listen to my song or somebody to play my song for it to become popular. It means that I need to get onto online uh, platforms. Uh, platforms. And that also said, it means that if I'm being ambitious 
if I want to be ambitious, if I want to be the artist that I want to be, it means I need a digital marketer. So let's look at the artist that has come to you, a digital marketer. Where do you start from with that artist? When you're dealing with artists, first of all, you know, we have something called content licensing. You need to first of all license the content because if we are projecting you, we want that streams and numbers that you'll be receiving from the streaming platform, mm. which are the channels, to pay you back. Okay. So we have something we call a content licensing or distribution. And then mm. we also have we call, or what we call the publishing administration. Publishing administration. Administration. And if any artist would lack content licensing and publishing administration, uh, you should remember that you are uh, finding difficulty. They can project you, but you end up becoming a very poor artist that has never lived before. Okay. Yes, yeah, so when you are dealing digitally, you need to license the content. That Lines. even if one streams, if even if it is one person that streams your music, it has to generate back to you. Okay. And when it generates back to you, if radio station or any media platform uses the content again, mm -hmm. without your knowledge or anything, the publishing administration pays you. Mm. So it's two things. The licensing for distribution pays you for streaming. Mm. And when um, the content being used are parties and other uh, like TV channels, radio wow. channels, they pay you back through publishing administration. Okay. Yeah. Which we call um, performing rights. We have the composition and the master rights and other things. Okay, so how do you set, I mean, an artist has come to you now. So how do you set everything in place now from there? What do you do as a digital marketer for the artist? So when you are coming to I think to I should have, I don't okay, know if you wanted to, Vasco, on, the, Vasco, Vasco, on the previous one, yeah. yes, you wanted yeah. to add something on that, Vasco. Uh, Where you brought in the licensing and then the publishing administration? Yes, so that is what basically we do. Okay. And then, apart from that, getting the song on platform and licensing the song, we're also doing a promotion as well. Okay, promotion. Yes. How to project the artist to patronize on their platforms. Okay. okay. All right. So now, l l let's talk about what you do for the artist. I've come to you, um, wh whichever genre it is, as an artist, I'm looking up to you now. What would you do for me? An artist, how do you get me out there? Mm. No, no, no. Okay. Mm. If you already have the song on stores, if you already you have already done your lung sensing, mm -hmm. then we are coming to handle marketing. Okay. Okay, what are we, what are some of the projections we are coming to do for you? Now we have um streaming DSPs, which is the digital streaming platforms. For example, Boom Play, Apple Music, okay. and Co. Now, these platforms are platforms that people listen. We ha they have a million users every day. Okay. Audio Max and Co. Now, we project the content through a viral promotion, mm. through email marketing. We have several marketing tools for projection. If you're a target of Ghana, we are targeting Ghana. We project to the people in the country. Mm. So, it makes good wave on the platform. People can start consuming the content okay. from that particular platform. So, because um, sometimes people feel like, okay, I have a good voice, I can sing, but you having a good voice, singing better, like uh, Kiddy or uh, whatsoever, uh, Whiskey and Co., you are just doing 1% of your career. Okay. The 99% based on the promotion. That is mm. why people have good songs that are under G are better than those who are already in the mainstream but they don't have they don't have the exposure mm. people are not looking at just how good your content is mm. they are looking at how good you can market it okay example you have um 100 cities i have 100 cities mm -hmm. we went to produce a project i produce a, a project that is not authentic i use 10 cities to project it. you use 80 cities you waste too much time like six months to pro to finish your project use 80 CDs. I use 10 CDs to, pro to be done with mine within a month. I release mine. I have 90 CDs. If I market, 
because I have more money than you, I can reach wider range of people. Mm -hmm. You is left with your 20 cities. You have done a great job, very quality. You because you don't have enough fun, you can't reach more people. That is why people think songs that don't deserve to get attention, attention. receive attention. Okay. Because they wouldn't waste they wouldn't waste too much time mm. on, on what you are thinking. You wasting some some here. That is a good content. We love it. But how to project the people through the marketing because a lot is involved. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So if you mix that angle, you'll be like, oh, Charlie, me, me put that name Budu. And that's what we hear out there all the time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, me, you know, I mean, is it me a good I'm better than this one. Yeah, it's not about that. that all, the all the time. It's not about that. It's mm. about projection. It's about projection. Yes. How you understand the promotion. Mm. We have big engineers in the industry who do good recording for big, big artists. Okay. But apart from that, what are the efforts you artists you are pushing? Mm. You will shoot a quality video. Yeah. But what are the efforts mm. you are putting up there? Okay. You need a marketer to push the song, mm. to reach target people. Mm. Either Nigeria, Ghana, any country. Yeah, I was about to ask that too. That the marketer you get, um, does it, I mean, because I'm supposed to get somebody who is coming to push, promote what I'm doing, spread it, make it. So are there marketers perhaps who are just focused on um, like promotion in Ghana? Are there marketers who are focused on promotion in West Africa? Or marketers, you know, do, do we have that category of marketers? Yes, we do have. Okay. We are in Ghana. <laughs> yeah. we, we are in Ghana. Yes. Now, when we are handling artists promotion in mm -hmm. Nigeria, Mm -hmm. We have team at Nigeria. Okay. Mm. Who also handle Nigerian market. All right. Okay. Mm. The same thing, Nigerian marketers to have team in Ghana. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Ghana market. Okay. You understand? I get you. Yes. yes. Mm. So every country, mm -hmm. as far as you, you, you contact the marketer and then you see where your song wants to reach, mm -hmm. no matter what. So how does an artist select a digital marketer based on this? Because it means that I need to, I need to get a, a marketing, a digital marketer who is very good and has um, connections with those in Nigeria um, or has contact with those, you know, across West Africa, someone who can even spread because... Um, just some months ago, we heard about certain songs, Ghanaian songs, even being played at the NBA. Yeah. yeah. So it means that perhaps that um, artist has a marketer who was able to influence or has connections even up there. I, I believe that's what it means, yeah. unless I'm, I'm mistaken. Okay, so that is musical aspect. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes we need, you can be here, marketing is about target. Mm -hmm. What is your target? What is the age you are targeting? Target. Mm -hmm. What is the kind of people you are targeting? Okay. Female, male, what is your target audience? Okay. So, for the musical aspect, sometimes we may need assistance on mm. some countries. Then we use um, the, our partners we have in the countries okay. to um, infuse that and make it happen. Okay. Right now, my artist is going to... Um, Nigeria, we have project the artist and artist that is making good wave in Nigeria. Okay. I have to deal with my partners mm. to handle the artists there. When the artists come to maybe have a, um, a digital and um, traditional promotion there, mm -hmm. they have to take the artist through. <laughs> Similarly, when the artist is coming, mm -hmm. we also handle and take them through process and okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So um, it means that we've got to make a good selection of your digital marketer. It, it yes. plays a major role. Major role. Then number two, are we saying that um, it ought to be also a gradual process? So um, as a newbie, someone who is just coming up, whether I'm a dancer or I mean wherever I am, and I just want to make it big, I'm very, very ambitious, I choose my digital uh, marketers. 
um, are we to say that I, I can be what I want to be? I have to be realistic. But I'll be, I'll make it on the international front maybe in six months. Because in the first month, maybe give me one, one month, you make it big in Ghana. The second month, then we, you know, gradually. Is there a gradual process? Or we have marketers who even, no matter how new I am, I'm able to like make it there in no time because of the work of the digital marketer. Sometimes we think to make a potential hit is luck, but that is a but big, that's all we hear all the time. Yeah, that, that's a big force there. When you depend on luck to hit, <laughs> who make you hit now? Remember, okay. a few times mm -hmm. you fade yes, out yeah. and you will never be remembered again. Mm. Why? You can't tell me, say, um, a Nigerian artist be a be more. I don't want to mention them because I work yeah. for some of them, so I don't want to mention okay. them. A bit more no. They have they have been relevant. Mm -hmm. They are not good than any Ghanaian Ghanaian artist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Even they can't I'm perform live if they are singing while they crack no. They want to voice in the crazy so. But how come they are so consistent? Marketing. Mm. They push to you even if you don't like it. <laughs> now. <laughs> There's one thing about music. You can listen at the first time. And you might get the Yes. Um, can I can I tell you that there are some songs I I listened to and I said I don't like this song, but some way somehow, perhaps at the end or some way, I find myself singing. Ah, no way, me impair. Why am I singing it? Is that what you're talking about? They push to you. They okay. push to you. Okay. Okay. The, you see, yes. there's difference between digit, digital marketer and a blogger here, oh, right. an influencer here. Mm. This is two different people. Okay. Influencer has a, an audience. Okay. Mm. His project, his post, he posts his content mm. too. He posts, he put thousand number like you know, number like you know, more. Mm -hmm. But with digital marketing, he says different thing altogether. Okay. Oh, how many data? Who paints you? Who paints you? The, um, did you download both app, um, uh, both food? No, I don't know. <laughs> Good, but you you know you know about them through your email. <laughs> yes, you know. About you are playing game. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I get you. I want to get that So that's what that. you do. Yeah, that's the okay. one that came behind. Now I know who to call. Now I'll tell you to come and take it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I get you, I get you. But um, uh, my producer wants me to ask you a particular question, but I'm holding it uh, off a little. I want to ask about con um, consumers, um, the fans, um, in terms of uh, artists, it will be the fan base. You mentioned earlier targeting, I mean, your target, who should be your target? And quickly, I remember, I remember something that some of the movies we watch, especially... Um, with the Korean movies, you see that um, you see a very, very, very different way or, or how they market their or target their consumers. You, I mean, while you people speak, it, it brings, it highlights some of these things for me. You look at the Korean market, when you have a movie or you have a band, these are series, it, it's like the marketers target females the most because they know. <laughs> The females like something some way, somehow. It makes you, your hype just it blows out of proportion. Because for them, they are like or they are love for things that's not just end at the oh, me penumuno. No, for them, it goes to be me penumuna, any me Exactly. And they can follow you. They can have pictures of you in their rooms. They can. So I'm looking at you bringing in um, the target okay. there. I'm um, asking, targeting, I never ever thought that um, targeting has to do with the um, digital marketer as well. How do you go about targeting people and how does that help also broaden the consumer base for the artist or the fan base, I should say, for the artist? When you are bringing up a content, we listen to the content. So is you don't just like in yeah. the song? Is, is it explicit? Oh, or it's a clean content. Okay, so that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> so from there we select 
Which age people? Explicit or clean? Which age people okay. are we delivering the content to? Mm. Are we delivering to from 35 years mm. to 60 years? They might not take it serious. Okay. okay, this content might go to the youth. Okay, then let's target from 16 years to 30 years. Yes. They might like this because this is their type of content they may like. Are we targeting male more? Or female more, mm -hmm. or we should, we are mixing all. Mm -hmm. So we look at the angles before we start projection. Okay. So then my question next will be, yeah. because you brought in a category right now, yeah. explicit and clean. Yeah. But that brings in other angles. If the song is even okay, palatable, is the song? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even sound nice at all. As a marketer digital marketer um, 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 Vasco, I don't know about you as well. <laughs> the way you are turning your head away, Vasco I'm bringing the question to you do you get a say do you get a say <laughs> but your videos <laughs> no, 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 is too explicit I, do, I don't I don't do explicit something like that do you get a say as yeah. him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually <laughs> <laughs> because uh, sometimes, sometimes I wonder who marketed this. <laughs> I watch the video and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> they, <laughs> they have their own influence of people. You sure? Yeah, you see, <laughs> most of the time, uh, these people are most of the time influenced by bloggers. Okay, all right. Now, because a blogger is not a marketer, mm -hmm. and he has to create something to be able to draw people's attention okay. so he always say nigerians don't do beef but they make the most hate mm -hmm. okay. Ghanaians are believing unless they have a beef they fight this one that is a Send perception <laughs> that's a perception that bloggers are what <laughs> no digital marketer will give you that perception frank is being frank yeah, right. <laughs> no digital marketer will ever give you that perception. Okay. That okay. okay. Fight with this because they know that they project to you. Yes. Okay, we, pull, we are projecting mm. to you. Mm. But with uh, a blogger, you oh, I do with the yeah, can be being found. Say, mm. let's twist the headline. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. I for, see. That. And push people's attention. Mm. 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 Okay. Yeah. So most of the time, those things are most mostly influenced by the bloggers. Okay. So you're saying that as a digital marketer, obi the new man as a nyaa we catch any say nyaa. Eh, nyaa me me try me sika. Enti e try na fa se di e ufa. But what is one thing? What you shouldn't forget is when you project, you still get your revenue. But maybe, ah, uh, maybe for, for, for the fans will consume no. Ah, for the usi kane di and she. One key about music marketing, which people don't know. Who you, when you invest in it, the, man, the money is not lost. Mm. But then there is this other side. There is this other side that looks like this. It just came to my mind that, like, I listened to that, watch that horrible, I call it horrible, it was a horrible video. I was wondering which producer, which director, which people were standing there when it was being done. And then, just like the way I'm saying it, I watch it, I'm like, all the while I was wondering who did this, who did this, who did this. Then I come to a friend and I said, "And now I'm in one video. Be then yo, I'll be like, uh, which video two is that?" And I said, "Udia check. I remember the name of. It. Then I give you the name, and then you also go and watch. But like, hey, I do with the and you, and then you also carry it on somewhere somehow." <laughs> yeah, so that's the that's the um, that's what I was telling. It is influenced by the bloggers. Okay, twisted. Yeah, yeah, you see. Oh, yeah, yeah, naked. Oh, a man of a shirt. Oh, a man of a shirt. Oh, yeah, you see. Okay. Okay. Digital marketer will never advise you to do that. All right. All right. Now, you are saying that <coughs> the person will still get their money so Reven revenue, somehow. Yeah, yeah. Revenue. How do you make your money? That was my producer. Oh. As a digital marketer. Vasco wants to come. Yes, the Vasco. Oh. Vasco. <laughs> For the artist or reader? No, you. You the marketer. Oh, it's a service. Is it so a service. Pay for the service. Yes, please. So if I'm coming to um I'm coming to you, Vasco, I choose you to be my digital marketer. And I'm telling you that uh, my aim or my ambition is that by the end of the year, um at least in this album that I've made, two or three songs should be able to even 
make it, make it in the fit. U.S. And the content, I mean, the song itself, you watch it and you know, okay, it has the ability to do that. So I'm going to pay you for that service. Yeah. You count it as what? A year service or you count no. it as no. the ambitions we, service? We have oh. packages involved with every oh. stores. All right. We have packages for Apple Music, Boom Place, Spotify, Audio Mark, Tida, Deezer, Shazam, every store. So when I show you the package, you the artist come with mm. what you choose. Okay. Yes. And basic sometimes so the artist may come with a budget. Okay. Okay. We, we okay. are coming with oh I have um twenty thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. I want us to do a projection. What are some of the things you can do to assist? Then we give you some of the things that can help. Okay. So maybe at the end of maybe a quarter, you should be able to, to make a half of that money. Mm. That is just a quarter. Don't forget the content is forever. It's still mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. It's still there generating. Mm -hmm. So okay. that kingdom come. Okay. All right. So yeah. as you mentioned about the album, uh, I will just give a big shout out to Luminary DMR for uh, his, his new digital marketer. You see? His new his new tune. Uh, he titled this one Discovery. So, hey. Discovery album oh, by uh, Luminary DMR. Yeah. He's making wave in South Africa. Yeah. South Africa, I, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I know who the two of you are. I know who you are. <laughs> hey. Okay, all right, all right. So, um, my final question will be... Um, okay, but no, no. Before my final question, this one is just a follow-up to what you just said. Okay. You, you, you said that, um, so we pay, like, they pay for the year or whichever package they choose, etc. Um, is there ever an, a case or an issue where maybe um, uh, the, the artist says, what I wanted you to do or how far I wanted to go, it didn't go. Um, and so, you know, that kind of conflict is created there. Is there anything like that? Mm. No. No, not from your end. Mm. But have you heard with others? You really. see, when it comes to music marketing, there are few. Now, I didn't care also. Now, I'm complaining. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't mention like five uh, music marketers in Ghana. Ghana. In Ghana, and I have two on my set right now. You can't mention five. Wow. Two. You can wow. mention bloggers, but you can't yeah. mention. No. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, since I know the two of you, I think I should take your contact. My first song, you, my second one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me, what's the future of um, relating the two? We talked about the differences between the traditional marketing and then the digital, digital marketing. marketing. Looking at both <coughs> of them and then the future, what do you think the future holds for these two? Well, <laughs> internet is here to stay. Okay, so yes. yes. Digital marketing. So, mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. Digital marketing is anything uh, you can't do far from it. Okay. Definitely, when you push using a digital marketing, mm. it will help you. Okay. But with a traditional, it's, it's an urban area. Mm -hmm. uh, Adwa TV is in Accra, it's not in Nigeria. Mm. Yeah, so, if I bring my song to you or my video to you, you are playing Adwa TV, mm -hmm. people in Accra will just consume it here or yeah. you understand yeah but when it, come, when it come to marketing aspect mm -hmm. it's broad okay but then um we know that uh, when it comes to that too even tv is now going because of satellites etc it goes mm -hmm. like outdoor tv it goes beyond yeah yeah uh -huh. so, so that's why every um station channel need to go digital attached to okay. the so traditional we have that. Yeah. okay so, Adra TV is on the right track, yeah, right? Exactly. All right. Any, any last words? We're just wrapping up. Or shout outs? Oh. Like he has already taken the lead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any shout outs? All right. Uh, shout out to my fans. All right. My families. The fans in the baby. Fans in the baby. The Vasco the Vlogger. Into the whole meeting. So, what I say. Mm. All right. Just follow me on Instagram, Vasco mm -hmm. the Vlogger, and any other social media platforms. Okay. That's good, blogger. All right. Remove. Remove. <laughs> <laughs> and um, to Frank? Check, check me out on our social media platform, Brother Harrison. Yeah, and big shout-outs to Frank Harrison. my wife, 
Sandra Fosia Harrison, big shout out to hey. you. Charlie, baby, we love you so much. Eh? That woman be, you be full inspirational. Nice one. Uh, <laughs> so those two forcing to date me, I beg you, we boy. <laughs> <laughs> they know so they still want to do a bag. It, uh, it's fact, close. fact. This one depends on you. You be marketing yourself. Stop marketing yourself. Stop marketing yourself. And that's how we put the kettles down. Not just for today, but for the whole week's activity when it comes to AM Ghana. Yes, you've been good, and we've been good, bringing you, serving you with nothing but sheer goodness. And Vasco. Frank here, also to Frederick as well, um, to Sam, wherever he is in the UK. Continue enjoying, but don't forget our updates. Eh? It's still the Queen's Day. We remember um, our loved Queen, cherished Queen Elizabeth II. So whatever you do, um, yes, just a word of prayer to her and a word of prayer also to all as you chill this weekend in Owehu. Remember that it is always best to be intentional, focused, and make sure that you share love. For Lady Julia and the AM Ghana crew here, bye-bye. Mm, but remember, we'll continue Monday me, right here, 7 a.m. Bye for now. Did you, let me say something. Oh, you, you want to end? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. oh, okay. Oh, oh, Next week. Oh, oh. <laughs>